What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks, and today I'm going to be bringing you some practice Go Battle League battles here, where the whole goal is to design a team around Dugong. This is double legacy Dugong, so with the Ice Shard as the fast move, and um, Icy Wind as the charge move, Dugong is absolutely amazing. You have so much bulk, um, it's a very bulky Pokemon, and the debuff on Icy Wind is super nice. Ice Shard, pretty decent for energy generation and does a decent amount of damage as well. Um, if you do not have a double legacy Dugong, um, you can hold on to your elite TMs. You'll need an elite fast TM and an elite charge TM. If you have a very highly ranked Dugong, I would definitely recommend um, building one of these and using your elite TMs on Dugong. Uh, it has a lot of play. Um, it can beat Azumarill if they don't have play rough. It destroys Altaria and it wins a lot of neutral matchups just from its bulk and the fact that you can debuff your opponent's attack. So in this video, I'm running a bunch of different lines kind of centralized around building a team around Dugong. And pretty much all of these battles, I try to build a team using Dugong in the lead. Whatever Pokemon you select in the lead, you need to have two Pokemon in the back that can cover some of its worst matchups. So Dugong, really bad against the Steel types. You don't have anything to really hit back because Water Pulse is such a horrible move. And so I think in this first uh, match here, I'm uh, rolling with Dugong, Vigoroth, and Whiskash. Because Vigoroth and Whiskash both can beat the Steel types. Um, so those kind of cover Dugong pretty well. Obviously running Dugong and Whiskash in the same team, you're going to have some grass weakness for sure. Um, so you do have to be aware of that. But Whiskash is such a solid response to um, the Steel types. So... All these battles uh, in this video are against uh, my patrons, so thank you all for supporting the channel. And we're just going to be rolling with a lot of different team comps here. Okay, Dugong lead into Whiskash. This is actually favorable for Dugong. Only because... Um, the debuffs over time is really going to help flip this matchup. My bomb actually does a decent amount of da uh, damage, especially when it hasn't been debuffed. But these ice shards are hitting for neutral, icy wind is hitting for neutral, and it really starts to add up. There's the swap into Vigoroth. So I'm trying to get off an icy wind before I switch out here. I actually will commit a shield um, to this Dugong. Now I'm going to throw the icy wind. What else am I running in this line here? Okay, Vigoroth and uh, Whiskash again. So I'm going to have to leave this down a shield, but since I debuffed uh, my opponent's Vigoroth, I should be able to farm this down now and not have to eat another Body Slam. Really good for me. Out comes the Whiskash, though. This is very tempting to shield, and I actually do shield because I think I'm going to be able to double Body Slam. All this energy that I stored up was worth the shield, but I'm at a significant shield disadvantage now. Not super great. Oh man, we're still down a shield. I'm not able to get to this body slam. Uh, I should be able to come in with my dugong and farm this thing down. Or maybe I'll come in with Whiskash and mud shot it down. Okay, I bring out dugong. It's a meganium in the back. This is really bad. I need to get to this icy wind before the frenzy plant occurs. Um, this is good for me. However, Whiskash in the back is going to get one shotted by meganium. So... Uh, this is definitely a huge team comp loss right here. Grass in the back, pretty challenging for Whiskash to deal with. Dugong can only hang in there if you have shields, because um, Icy Wind really chunks down the grass types, but good game there. Going up against Cubs Tori. Dugong into Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is one of the grass types that uh, only takes neutral damage from ice type attacks, so kind of a problem for this team. Oh man, Alolan Marowak comes out. So you saw I used Vigoroth as my safe swap there. Um, and this is actually really bad. I think I'm still running Whiskash in the back here. And so Ferrothorn is going to give my Whiskash so many problems. Because I landed the Bulldoze on this Alolan Marowak, this is a decent matchup for me. The Fire Spins really add up. The Bone Clubs add up, but the uh, uh, Lowland Marowak cannot go for the Shadow Ball Nuke here because of my normal typing, which is really great. Body Slam isn't even able to take it out. Uh, should have just tried to go for the Bulldoze there, but... 
I'm going to bring out my dugong to try to farm this thing down because I don't want to reveal that I have a whisk cache in the back. Because then my opponent is really going to know that all they got to do is double shield, shield their Ferrothorn and they win. So, pretty important to not reveal that I have whisk cache in the back. Here's this Ferrothorn again. We have to stay in here, commit both shields, get some icy winds off, and just hope that there maybe is a Registeel in back. Or something that Whiskash actually has some play against. So I have to shield up these Power Whips. Definitely have to shield up the Power Whips. And they switch into Azumarill, which is also beats Whiskash. So I do drop the attack on this Azumarill. And then I'm storing... I almost have an Icy Wind stored up there, but... Hoping to catch an Ice Beam here. I do catch an Ice Beam. So that's totally okay. But this is going to be an uphill battle for sure. They still have two shields. And they cleared their debuff on the Ferrothorn. So this is really not good. Really not good. And it's play rough. Okay. Ice Beam play rough. Okay. So that would have been a pretty solid response to my Dugong as well. Man, Dugong does not have very many good matchups against uh, her team here. Just going for Mud Bomb again, but she is very smart, recognizing that Ferrothorn is going to be the key to victory here. And this will take out my Whiskash to play rough. Bring out my Dugong. I don't want to get hit by another play rough, but I also need stored energy to threaten this Ferrothorn. But she still has a shield. She lets it go. I'm going to be able to hit another Icy Wind, but one Power Whip is going to be coming through and is going to be able to take me out. Very close battle, though, even with how many poor matchups um, Dugong had there. Still very close, which is really good. So she's definitely going to take this good game. We got even got a timeout there. Going up against About Danielle here. Favorable lead for me. However, they are running wing attack, which is going to hit me for neutral damage, whereas bubble would be resisted. So, not as favorable, but still favorable. And this is just going to be a debuff nightmare. They're going to de uh, debuff me with bubble beam, and I'm going to debuff them with icy wind. So, it's just going to be <laughs> totally obnoxious to play this out. It's going to take, take a long time. A lot of these matches with dugong, you actually end up timing out sometimes. Uh, just with how many icy winds uh, are being thrown and the attack just keeps getting lower and lower and lower So it definitely takes some time But Dugong is for sure gonna be able to take this opening matchup I do want to leave this opening matchup with some stored energy to be able to icy wind whatever this second Pokemon is going to be So I'm just totally committing to the ice shard farm down here Oh my gosh, such a long opening matchup that took up like half the match timer. Out comes Umbreon. I wonder what my team composition is for this. I wonder if I was still running Vigoroth and Whiskash in the back. We'll see once uh, Dugong goes down here. So definitely just going to let this go, but I've double debuffed this Umbreon, so it's looking real nice. Okay, it's still Vigoroth and Whiskash. Vigoroth, really good response to that. Just going to go for a body slam to try to chip away this Flygon. But Whiskash should be able to handle this Flygon just fine. As I'm watching this back, sometimes the frame rate drops a little bit. Hopefully there's you're not getting any frame rate drops once I upload this to YouTube. But hopefully everything rendered fine here. Just going straight mud bomb here. Obviously, Blizzard would one shot because it's double super effective against Flygon. Um, but this is totally fine. Vigoroth uh, is totally going to win this match for me, so I'm just saving both my shields for Vigoroth. Not able to get to another mud bomb here. Totally fine. Vigoroth is going to be able to handle Umbreon and this Flygon just fine. However, if this is an Earth Power, it would do a lot of damage, so I will commit a shield right there. There's that Umbreon again, just going to body slam, spam this thing into the ground. Another long matchup. Umbreon, so bulky. And there's that timer. 
That opening matchup took forever. We're actually having the, the timer. So I need to make sure that I end this with more health than the Umbreon. I'm able to counter it down. Good game there. Going up against uh, Dean Oxen. I think that's how you say his name. This is a favorable lead for me. They immediately switch into Vigoroth. Oh, I changed my team comp here. So this is most likely the uh, For the Battles team comp that was featured in uh, King IV's video a couple days ago. Super solid team. Uh, it consists of Skarmory, Vigoroth, and Whiskash. So two really solid answers to Registeel in the back. And it looks like I'm rolling with uh, Dugong and then Defense Deoxys, and I didn't see what my Pokemon, uh, what my third Pokemon was. So let's see how this plays out. Essentially, this Defense Deoxys right now is functioning as my Vigoroth. However, I actually beat Vigoroth, which is nice because my counter damage is hitting super effective against the Vigoroth, um, whereas Vigoroth's counter damage is hitting for resisted on me. So really good for me. I get a shield on that Whiskash. And I have my own Whiskash in the back. And since I know that they already have Skarmory in the lead, I'm just saving Dugong for that matchup. Gonna switch immediately. I'm up a shield. This is already good games, though. Dugong is just gonna put a beating on this team. Has favorable matchups against Skarmory and Whiskash. So, hey, if you're gonna be running into a lot of these team compositions, man, Dugong does very well against this team composition for sure. Um, you guys have most likely seen Caleb Pang's new YouTube video where he features his team of Lapras, Return Sableye, and Altaria. Um, Dugong has decent play against Sableye and is really good against Altaria as well, so it might be worth considering um, throwing a Dugong on your team if you're going to be seeing a lot of that stuff as well. But man, Great League, Go Battle League is just, you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, right? It's it's pretty crazy. Good game there. Going up against Delacroix here. Not a good lead. Okay. Not good. I'm still rolling with my own Deoxys and Whiskash for this team composition. And out comes Mew. You never know what moveset Mew has, but it almost always is running Shadow Claws, the fast move, which is hitting Deoxys for super effective damage, whereas my counter damage is resisted, so not super great. I will commit a shield here, it's just a Surf. Surf is kind of an interesting choice for Mew. Honestly, I've never uh, encountered a Mew that runs Surf. Kind of unique. Most people will run Wild Charge for sure, uh, especially now that it got that, uh, that buff. It's just such an insanely good move. So most people will run Wild Charge on their Mew and then sometimes have a bait move like Dragon Claw or Psyshock. Um, but I've also seen Mews that run uh, Ice Beam as well as uh, Wild Charge to just give it good coverage across the board. Oh, I make a huge mistake here. There's the Wild Charge! It hits for like 75% damage and out comes Umbreon. It's going to be really, uh, really bad. I should have tried to maybe debuff this Umbreon before I switched into my Whiskash because this is not going to be good at all. Not going to be good at all, and it's going to take a long time to play out because uh, Whiskash and Umbreon, both very bulky, and both throw um, somewhat spammy charge moves that don't do that much damage. So I'm just going for the Blizzard here. I believe when shields are down, Blizzard is barely more energy efficient. So if you can guarantee that you're going to be able to hit the Blizzard, like when shields are down, I think Blizzard is the way to go. They make a really nice swap into Mew again, so I undercharge this. Um, and then I'm able to get one more Ice Shard with my Dugong, which is really good. Out comes Deoxys again. I'm gonna throw this Icy Wind. But that's a full health uh, Deoxys, and so this is really bad for me. He's gonna be able to counter me down. Yikes. And then I think he's running Psycho Boost on his Deoxys as well. Oh man, yeah, so this is definitely a good game. He's even able to get to another Psycho Boost, that's insane. Good game there. Going up against Dab from C. Oh, Scrafty lead is really not good. Uh, looks like I'm running uh, Defense Deoxys and Alolan Raichu in this line. So it's unfortunate that the Skarmory comes out right now because I'd really like to get the Alolan Raichu on the Skarmory, but the Thunderbolt connects. Um, so I think I'm going to be able to win back Switch Advantage here since he let that Thunderbolt go through. 
But honestly, I'm not even sure if Switch Advantage is going to help me out here. That Scrafty actually has decent play against Alolan Raichu and my Dugong. But I do want to win Switch Advantage to kind of control what I want to bring in. Let's see what comes out here. Oh my gosh, it's a Meganium. This is not good at all. Not good at all. Because Alolan Raichu uh, doesn't have any play against Meganium, and Dugong is going to kind of struggle, especially with a Meganium that has this much energy. Man, if I would have been able to get a Rock Slide off, that would have been great. I have to bring out Dugong, and I just have to... Oh, but they switch into Scrafty right there. This is just going to be a power-up punch. Now I'm going to switch out. I can't stay in there. The counter is hit for super effective damage. If this is a foul play, it's going to shred my Raichu. But he based me with power-up punch again. This is really bad. This is really bad. Shields are down. Meganium has loaded energy on Frenzy Plant. So it's going to shred my Dugong. And I don't have an Icy Wind stored. So this is definitely a good game here. Another power-up punch. They are ramping up this Scrafty like crazy. I'm able to get off another wild charge, which is really good. Probably going to draw the second shield. Yep. I don't have a Icy Wind Store, and these counters are just chunking. They're just chunking away. Another power-up punch. This Scrafty is a monster. Good game. I got shredded there. All right. Going up against Jonathan Kelly. You've seen him on the channel a lot, and he kicks my butt a lot, too. Really good battler. Okay, Metacham into Meganium. So I'm not leading Dugong here, but I have Dugong in the back. So I'm, I need to get this Ice Punch off, and I think in this line I'm also running... Um, so Metacham lead, Dugong, and Azumarill in the back. So um, double water in the back. I really need to take out this Meganium, because my back line really going to struggle against it. Really going to struggle against it. I actually let this go because I'm going to aggressively farm down with Dugong here. I will have to shield up a Frenzy Plant. Ah, yep. Barely not able to take it out. This is okay. Because I'm going to be able to Icy Wind uh, whatever comes out. I am down a shield. I lost switch advantage. Out comes Snowy Cast Form. So this is where Water Pulse is kind of nice. Dude, if Dugong learned Surf, it would be a little bit too overpowered. It'd be a little bit too good. Uh, if you don't have a Dugong, I someone mentioned this in my Twitch stream earlier. Uh, can you run Cloister instead? I say go for it. You do lose a little bit of bulk with Cloister, but you have Hydro Pump as your water coverage move instead of Water Pulse. And Hydro Pump is a really good move, offer you, offers you some good nuke potential there. So I could definitely see um, some team compositions working with Cloyster instead of Dugong. However, you do lose some of that bulk, and it is pretty noticeable. Especially since I think Cloyster is more um, defense-heavy as opposed to stamina-heavy. So, like, Reggie can just come in and, like, lock on farm you down. But good games to everyone who played. Uh, give Double Legacy Dugong a try if you feel like investing your Elite Charge TMs. Thank you all so much for watching. Um... Definitely working on some more team comps here with Dugong because I want to be starting uh, to roll with this in GBL. But uh, I will see you all in the next video.